Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brian. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day. New comics are in the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, get them physically, get them any way you want. It's new comic book day. In my hands is Wonder Woman Justice League Dark Witching Hour number one, kicking off the event that's uh, revolving around Wonder Woman. Uh, it's written by James Tinian IV, uh, with art by Jesus Marino, uh, colors by Romulo Fajardo Jr., Dave Sharp Letterer, um, Ricardo Federici's variant, Marino Fajardo Jr.'s cover, Dave Welgaz's assistant editor, Chris Conroy editor, Jamie S. Rich group, uh, group editor. Um, basically, this is kind of going back to some of the stuff in Justice League Dark, the magic focused Justice League, and this whole Hecate witch goddess stuff that's going on that's kind of uh, deals with Wonder Woman. Basically, should set the fan with the DC Universe when it comes to magic. This is really focused on that. There's, of course, this bigger threat that they've been dealing with in Justice League Dark. But this is kind of downloading things back a little bit and taking a different plot line that was begun. Uh, basically, there's this witch goddess who knows, knows things are kind of off in, uh, in the magic world. And um, she just kind of wants to, like, get the power and do her thing. Um... Basically, if you care about magic in the DC Universe, this is, I think, kind of a must-read. Uh, a lot of people die. Things kind of go crazy. There's some good explanations as to maybe why the Justice League isn't getting involved in this kind of, you know, extinction-level event. And overall, like, it's kind of, it continues the tone of Justice League Dark. I don't think there's really anything that stands out particularly uh, different about this. It's just, it continues the tone. It really just kicks off the event that's going to be going on. Um... Plays out in uh, pages of Wonder Woman, Justice League Dark. There's two 48-page one-shots. This is one of them. Everything's written by James Tinian IV. Um, so basically, like if you're digging Justice League Dark, keep on reading this. Uh, you, you, new readers can definitely kind of start off with this. If you're reading Wonder Woman and not doing Justice League Dark, you're going to want to pick this up to understand the crossover that's going to be happening. Uh, but other than that, like, it just it continues the good tone, and I think it kind of explains why... The Justice League isn't getting involved, which is, I think, good. Um, the art's pretty decent. You know, kind of continue the style of uh, sort of horror, horror uh, that uh, Justice League art Dark's been doing. Uh, there, I mean, you know, there's some cool designs. The characters look really great. It's good. Um, the thing that I think particularly really enjoy about this is, it, again, kind of lays things out for new readers. It's very new reader friendly. Uh, and yeah, I mean, basically, if you like magic, if you kind of like a horror aspect of DC, want to kind of dive into that, because this is going to have to deal with a lot of that going forward, uh, it's worth it. Um, you know, it's a little bit thicker of a comic, four ninety nine. you're getting much more, I think, for the four, for the extra buck, usually, I think most of the stuff is like three ninety nine. some of it might be four ninety nine. whatever. Um, so yeah, like, it's, this looks like it's an event that's going to be a pretty decent event, and yeah, again, if you're into horror, if you're into magic, all that stuff, go for it. Uh, but overall, I mean, like it's it's a good read. It's it's perfectly good. It's uh, it's as good as the rest of the Justice League Dark stuff, which has been entertaining. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really much else to say. I mean, if you've been digging it, go for it. If you've been reading Wonder Woman and not Justice League Dark, go with this, and then you'll get caught up. Uh, so yeah, uh, or if you want even a starting point, you can kind of skip the first three issues of Justice League Dark and just start going with this. Um, it's out in comic shelves today. DC obviously hooked us up with a review copy. We always appreciate that. And we like to be transparent as to what we get for free. Go get this in comic shops. As always, support your local comic shop. They are the backbone of the industry. Without them, things just well, would not do very well. Um, there's a link beneath this. Put in your zip code. Tell you if a shop's near you. No shop. We got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage. By doing that, you help support us, so thank you. Uh, if you are into DC Comics, comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep me nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.